Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from Gaming Entertainers. Today I will be making a tutorial. I usually don't do these. I'll be making a tutorial on how to use YouTube's annotation feature. Um, this is a very cool feature that YouTube added a while ago, but I felt like doing a tutorial for you guys. But it's very cool, and also most very shiny websites do not use actual annotations. So the annotations are like this, that, and that over there. So let's get started with the tutorial, guys. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from Gaming Entertainers, and I'm back on my computer. I'm going to be showing you guys how to add annotations to videos. Obviously, you need to be signed into your account. So if you don't have a YouTube account, sign up. There'll be a big bold thing up here that says sign up. You should probably see it right now if you're watching this video. Or sign in if you already have an account. Okay, obviously you also have to have a video that you want to put annotations on. So if you don't have a video you that you want to put annotations on, I don't know why you're watching this. Maybe for future reference. I don't know. So I'm going to go to my videos. That's basically what you have to do. Go cursor over your name and then go to my videos. Find the video that you want to use for this ex for annotations. So I'm going to pick this one, for instance. Hit annotations down there. And then it will bring you to this little box where your video will start auto-playing so that you can start adding annotations. Um, now I'm going to go through all the annotations to get you guys a feel. There, click on this to add an annotation. And then it brings you up a few types. You can add a speech bubble. You can add a note. You can add a spotlight or a pause annotation. You'll know what all these are by the end of this video, so don't worry. I already have a speech bubble, so you'll be able to see that when I show you the whole video. I'm going to add a note. I'm just going to say, hi, YouTube. And then up here, you can change the annotation type if you don't want it to be a note. Or add annotation links, basically. So you can copy part of it and then hit add link. And then it asks for a link type. And then you can just put the link to whatever you want right there. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the point, I think. Right here, you can change the color. They have a few color options. I like blue, so I'm going to do that. Right here is a trash bin where you can throw away this annotation if you don't want it. You can also do that over here. Right here, you can set how long it is, or you can just drag this little tab right here, this yellow thing, and make it as long as you want. I'm going to make this kind of long for the purpose of this video so you guys can see. I will also make the speech bubble fairly long. Um, it's fine, I guess. Okay, so let's add a spotlight. I'll show you what that is too. I don't want to get these all in the way because I want you guys to be able to see them. I'm going to show you this. Okay, I'm just putting random stuff in. And you've already seen the color of those other options over here, so I don't need to show you that. I'm going to actually move this one to a different spot. Ah! Sorry about that. That was random. There we go. Let's move it like this. That's fine. Okay. Just a little bit more so I can select that. And then there you go. And then that's about it. I'll save this and then show you it and show you everything it is. Right after I finish showing you a pause annotation. Okay. So, yeah. Let's save that. Let's publish that. Now I'm going to view it because it gives you an option to view it here. Okay. I'm going to mute that. I don't want to hear that. Okay. I'm going to close out of this. So it just says, hi, YouTube. You probably didn't see that. And if you did, saw that. See, that's the, the blue one is a note, and that one's a speech bubble. It's just because that looks like a speech bubble, and that's kind of like a square, like a note. And then here's a spotlight right here. Um, that's basically if you want someone to see a certain spot in the video, then you can just select that and then put that there, and they'll, it'll stick out. And then, last but not least, is pause annotation, which I'll play right now. Give it a minute. And see, the video is paused for as long as you want. You can set that to as long as you want, and then it'll start playing again. 
so yeah that's all of those i hope you that helped also right here is the annotations editor you click that and you can actually edit the annotations if you want right here and add more all in this video player but you have a little more option and if you click annotations so i'm gonna go back to annotations okay you don't want to hear me talk i'm gonna delete these actual three or yeah three sorry because you guys probably don't want to hear me talk so let's publish that and i don't really want to use those annotations okay so here's just the timeline and stuff right here you can get this link and give it to your friends so that they can actually click this link and they can come in here and actually add their own annotations and then when they do that they'll be able to put those but also if you don't want anyone to use that link anymore and add annotations you can hit this red button that says disable and reset which means when they click on the link again it won't work and then it'll reset the link to change it to a different one so that you can give it the link out again but it'll be different you can give it to other friends so yeah I hope that helped. If you need more information, click down here to learn more about video annotations. I hope I did well. If you missed anything, you can leave a comment, and thanks for watching. That's all I had to say. Bye.